In the early 2000s, a subdivision of EA Sports was made called EA Sports. This division emphasized fast, arcadey types of games. Games from basketball to football to snowboarding. I'm on a quest to review every single one. If you want to see me cover your favorite one, let me know in the comments, as long as it's an EA Sports big title. Today, we look at... So you got this thing called NFL Blitz. For years, Blitz has been the go-to for fast-paced arcade football gameplay. EA has this whole EA Sports big thing going on, and they've already made NBA Street, so why not NFL Street? The game is exactly what you think it is, an arcade football game, but this one brings you out to the streets. Uh, hence the name of the game. It's dirty, unregulated Smash Mouth football. No helmets, no rules, no field, all CTE. NFL Street is three words, brutal, chaotic, and stylish. Brutal because of the tackles. These are made so over the top. The guys straight up get the F5 refresh treatment. The most brutal are the tackles involving the wall. Chaotic because there's a lot going on at times. Whenever there's a ball tipped into the air or a fumble, the game momentarily turns into a damn mosh pit. Look at this. And stylish because it's the goal of these street games and EA Sports big games in general. As far as gameplay goes, NFL Street is a 7 on 7 football game. The objective is to score touchdowns, duh, but there are no kickers here. Playing on offense is so fun because of the flashy, show off y style that this game has. Bouncing a football on the ground like it's a basketball, under leg pitches, and various trick throws with the quarterback. <laughs> Oh shit. Pulling this stuff off is so unbelievably satisfying. Nothing in life beats juking your opponent so badly they crash into a wall. Well, that's an exaggeration, but it's still pretty cool. I call it the Ronda Rousey special. Swim the lot, my man. Crazy. Leaving behind a defense and taunting all the way to the end zone is something I'll never get tired of. Styling on your opponent is a bit of a dick move, honestly, but it's encouraged. It fills up this meter, and when the meter is full, you have a game breaker. Game breakers are, well, game breaking, hence the name. It's a power up that increases all of your attributes. On offense, it makes you practically unstoppable. On defense, almost every hit is a guaranteed fumble. When you activate it, it's hype, and players even shout out some things that can be, uh, taken the wrong way. Game breakers create this risk versus reward type of gameplay. It's a game within a game, in a sense. Yes, you are trying to win the football game via touchdowns, but getting game breakers help with that. So you aim to fill up this meter while playing. To fill up the meter, you have to do flashy shit. But doing that flashy shit puts you in risk for fumbles. When you have the game breaker, do you use it now on offense or try and score and use it on defense to get the ball back? Don't get me wrong, you're not gonna confuse this for an Einstein project but the game gives you something to think about, which is appreciated. Playing on offense is really fun. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for the defense. What makes offense fun is all the flashy shit you can do. Defense doesn't really have that. Yes, tackles look brutal, but in the grand scheme of things, they're just ordinary tackles. There is no hit stick or special hits you can do to your opponent. Whenever a fumble happens, it's most likely because of game breaker, the ineptitude of the ball carrier, or just randomness. Not anything you did yourself. It's also difficult to see what you're doing if you're playing certain positions. Pulling the camera back here would help a little bit. Speaking of helping, your AI partners do not do that. These guys are as dumb as rocks. If you cut their IQ in half, we're talking single digits. They just let passes zip by their heads without even an attempt to make a play on the ball. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? What's even worse is that when you have a chance at making a play yourself, the game gives you the worst possible animations. See, look, I saw the quarterback was throwing it there and I go for the interception and he does this catching animation. 
Why? Why does this always happen? Why not a catch animation where my guy actually, you know, goes for the ball instead of scooping up air into his hands? Outside of looking at cool tackles, playing defense is a bore, and every time I'm on defense, I'm just wishing it would be over so I can get back to the fun part of the game, which is the offense. The game is aware of this too, because even when you watch the intro to the game, 90% of the cool stuff is on offense. Presentation wise, the game has different outdoor venues, snow, beach, warehouse, Asgard. Okay, maybe not that last one. All of these places have their own vibe to them, which is kind of hard to do for a football game. Not only do these all look different, they're more than just aesthetics, surprisingly. They affect the gameplay too. Some fields have walls on the sides that keep you in bounds, and some can affect throws like the warehouse. I was completely shocked when I threw this lob and it hit off a structure on the ceiling. Players also have these celebrations whenever they do something like a touchdown or a sack. The animations are cool, but the voices that accompany them are a little odd, especially when a real NFL player gets these voices. Ball, you gotta take it from me. Take it from me, baby. It's mine. That's your man right there. That's my man? Big fat kid, yeah. I don't think so. Don't, don't get scared. You can handle him. Stick him. Just stick him. It's gonna be a long day. My one big pet peeve when it comes to sports games, the replay system is terrible. After a play, you have the option to watch the replay, but it's an option that only lasts for like three seconds. If you don't press it in time, it goes away and you can never watch it again. There's no other way to watch it. Accessing the replay is essentially a quick time event. I can't believe it. And to top it off, the replay can only be played at normal or slow speed and fixed camera angles. You can't even rewind. And once you play it out all the way to the end, you get kicked out. This isn't really a big deal at all in the grand scheme of things, but every sports game should have a decent replay, especially a game that's mostly based on doing stylish shit. This is almost worthless. It's like a screen door on a submarine. The main game mode here is NFL Challenge Mode. You create your own team and are given seven players. You can choose your own logo. Some of these are weird though. This looks like the dude from Jet Grind Radio. And this is apparently a hedgehog? Come on, none of these three things look similar at all. You can edit each individual team member, their name, clothes, height, weight, and their signature style. My team is called the Fuzz Balls, and the QB is this guy named Armstrongman, because I just realized my dumbass misspelled strongman. That's stupid! Use your common sense! The main goal of this mode is to run through NFL teams. But before you can do that, it's recommended you go into the challenge list. Here is a list of challenges, hence the name. Each challenge can offer you points to upgrade your guy, new plays, new equipment, and even the ability to steal players from another team. This mode is really fun and I like how challenges are varied and the upgrades are vital because you start out as useless as deodorant to a competitive Smash Brothers player. When your team actually becomes competent, it feels good and all the hard work paid off. You go on to play each NFL division and the final game of each division is the best players in the division on a single team. So I guess an all division team. NFL Challenge is a fun mode that's definitely worth sinking some time into. I just wish it was not the only real game mode here. You have Quick Match, which is self-explanatory, and you have this other mode where you draft seven players from a pool to assemble to your team. It's fun, especially with another person, but I feel like this is missing one more game mode to make this game a little bit more complete. NFL Street is a fun game that hits little speed bumps, most notably the lackluster defensive play. It still captures that insane element that these EA Sports games go for, and I bet the sequel will be heavily improved. Thank you guys for watching. I'm not going to tell you to like the video or anything because you're all grown, do your thing. Check out my other stuff if you want, and see ya.